Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make a whole food plant-based Hoppin' John's recipe that's simple and easy, and all the measurements and everything will be in our description box below. But we're gonna get started. I have everything already pre-measured out. Like I said, this is the perfect way to start off 2018. So if you do make this, make sure you let us know. Tag us in your, your pictures or send us an email and let us know how you like this. We love this for New Year's Day, but we also love this all throughout, the, all throughout the year. So this is a perfect, easy recipe that you can have on hand, you know, not just for New Year's, but multiple times. And we love switching it up in a variety of ways, which I'll, I'll tell you about in a second. I have our measurements all written out right here, so if I keep looking down, that's why. But you're going to need two cups of vegetable broth, two cups of cooked quinoa. We use red quinoa. This is the part I change out. We sometimes do rice or farro. It just kind of depends on whatever green we're in the mood for. But we're going to do two cups of red quinoa today. Two cans of black-eyed peas that you've drained and rinsed. I just use the brand Eden's. That's no salt added. You can, of course, make them from scratch, but I like just using canned beans. It's convenient. Um, but, of course, we did that and we rinsed them. We have half a cup of red onion, half a cup of green onion. We have two bay leaves, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of miso, and one teaspoon of minced garlic. And we have two celery stalks that I chopped up. And that's it. We also can add some hot sauce at the end. I always add it at the very end and let people add it on, you know, as they like. That way, whoever has a higher tolerance for heat or not. So optional is hot sauce that you can add to taste. So we're going to get started. You're going to saute your onions, your red onions, with some vegetable broth. Again, we're using no oil. So I have a beautiful new pot, um, cast iron pot that my um, parents got me for Christmas. So I'm going to use this. And we're gonna saute our green onions. We're gonna saute our red onions. And we're gonna saute the minced garlic and celery stock for around three to five minutes. You want the red onion to be translucent in color and you want the celery stock to be nice and soft. That's really what I look for when we're doing this. But go ahead and do this on like a medium heat until everything is nice nicely translucent and cooked cooked through. And we're gonna come back after that and I'll show you guys how to put it together. This is a very quick and easy way to make Hoppin' Johns. It literally takes like minutes to make, especially if you get your, your beans um, canned. I just love it and we cooked our quinoa already so that's the last thing that we put in. It's really quick and easy. You guys are gonna love this. You guys have time to do it before the New Year's and it's just super simple. So we're gonna go saute this. I'll be back in a second to show you guys the next step, but go ahead and do this now and I will see you guys in a second. Once your onions are cooked and everything is nice and softened, you can add the remaining part of your vegetable broth. Now we're gonna add our two cans of rinsed black eyed peas. Give that a nice stir. It smells amazing from all that garlic and onion already. We're gonna add our miso. That's our salt for this. And it'll dissolve into the vegetable broth or you can dissolve it beforehand, whichever way you like. Our oregano. Got to mix that up really nice. Our two bay leaves, which we will remove before eating, so make sure you remember to remove those. At the end, I'll tell you when. Go ahead and put this in as well. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cook it over kind of a high heat, just to bring it to a boil. Once it boils, we're gonna put it on a medium heat, leave it uncovered, and we're gonna cook for around five minutes. But you wanna make sure it comes to a boil first, and then we're gonna cook it for around five minutes after. Um, and a medium heat, which we'll is turn it down just a little bit. You just kind of want it to simmer for five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and move all this to our stove again. Once it's nice, well incorporated, I'm mixing everything really nice and well. And make sure those bay leaves are in there. But it smells amazing. You guys can see. And I'll show you an up close version of it while it's cooking as well. So we're gonna go do this. We're almost done. This is like so fast and simple that you guys are gonna wanna make this all the time. And especially for after New Year's Eve, you kinda just want something easy to make for New Year's Day. 
this is it. Once you've brought it back down to simmer for around five minutes, you can remove the bay leaves. They're done. You don't want to have those in there when you serve it. Everything smells so good, but we can add our quinoa now. This is already cooked quinoa. Go ahead and add that. And we're just going to mix it up. And like I said, you can add hot sauce. Um, it's optional. You can add it in now and let the flavors kind of marinate. Or you can give it to your guests to add as they'd like. It's totally up to you. Go ahead and stir your quinoa in. The quinoa will absorb some of the water, so it will, the vegetable broth and everything we used, it won't be, it won't be like a soup. You will see that some of the water does evaporate or get soaked into the quinoa. Everything looks really, really good. All right, so it's up to you. You can add in your hot sauce now. I also like to sometimes do steamed collard greens with this. I just think it adds a little bit more color and it adds an extra bit of nutrition adding in some greens. So you can add, you know, I would say about a cup of steamed collard greens to this or more if you'd like. Totally optional. Sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. Um, and like I said, you can add in hot sauce now or later. Whichever hot sauce is your favorite, totally up to you. I'm just gonna add a little bit in now. But if you're making it for you know some guests that maybe don't like hot sauce, maybe put it on the table and let everyone add as they'd like. I just added a little bit. This won't be super spacey, but it'll give us something. This is how we enjoy Hoppin' Jones on the New Year. This is such a simple recipe. If you guys do make this, make sure you tag us, let us know if you liked it. Let us know if you made it a different way. We love adding color greens sometimes. Sometimes I change out the greens. Sometimes we change out if we add hot sauce to it or not. Uh, it's just so much fun and easy. It took literally minutes to make. It's not very hard. So this is a staple that we enjoy all year round. But before I let you guys go, I just want to say thank you so much for everyone that's subscribed. We are so close to hitting 4,000 people. We might have hit it by this point already. And um, last year was my New Year's resolution to make this YouTube channel. I'm so happy I finally did it. And we're building this wonderful community together. So from the bottom of my heart, so I just wanted to say thank you so much. And it means a lot that you guys watch this, leave some nice comments, and subscribe along. And I will see you guys in 2019 for a recipe video very soon. I hope you guys all have a wonderful New Year's, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.